upon a time, there was a mother duck who was sitting on some eggs that were starting to hatch. All the eggs hatched except for one. The mother duck was worried about the unhatched egg, but three days later it hatched. But when the baby duck came out, he was very ugly. His brothers and sister ducks were yellow and fluffy and cute, but he had big gray feet and rough gray feathers all over his body, and his mama said he was an ugly duckling. So she called him UD. The mother duck introduced her brood to the barnyard, but the old duck who was in charge said, that's one ugly baby and you should get rid of him. And then she bit the ugly duckling. Pretty soon, all the other animals in the barnyard were chasing him and telling the baby to get lost. And even his own mother wished he had never hatched. So UD ran away. UD found some wood ducks to live with on a lake, but then a bunch of hunters showed up and killed all the wood ducks, so UD went into hiding. When the coast was clear, UD started swimming on the lake again, and he saw a bunch of beautiful swans who flew into the air heading south for warmer weather. UD loved the swans and wished he could go with them, but he was stuck on a cold pond which was starting to freeze. The winter got worse and worse, and even though poor UD paddled as hard as he could to keep the water from freezing, he got exhausted and fell asleep, and he got frozen solid in the lake. A man going ice fishing found UD and cut him out of the ice and brought him home with him to warm up. But when UD woke up, he got scared and started flapping all over the house, falling into the milk, the butter, and the barrel of grain so he had to run away again. UD barely survived the winter, but in the spring he was strong enough to fly, and he spotted a group of beautiful swans swimming in a big lake. He flew down, hoping that the beautiful swans would just kill him and put him out of his misery. But when he looked in the lake, he saw himself and realized that he too was a really beautiful swan, and he lived happily ever after with his new swan family. The end. Go to FableCityRadio.com for the real stories with music, sound effects, fairy tale trivia, and more. Also available on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And remember, every time you hit that plus sign, a fairy gets its wings.